Welcome to this Windows channel and today we are going to take a look at how to get wallpapers or desktop pictures um, that are called wallpapers. Now one of the comments I get the most on my channel before I decided to actually put this Windows 10 wallpaper, um, not permanently but for now, a lot of people were saying, wow, I want to have your wallpapers. They're just so great, so fantastic. How do I do that? How do I get great wallpapers? And who, how do I actually, uh, you know, install that on my desktop? Well, for me, and that's personal, a wallpaper usually goes with my mood, goes with what time of year we are, goes with what I see in the news. I'm a very scientific guy. I like to read blogs about space, about what's happening in the universe, uh, you know, I go uh, to a lot of websites and to get wallpapers, it's really easy actually to set a wallpaper and to get a picture that you like into a wallpaper. There are several things you can do. If you have a picture in a folder you can already set it as a wallpaper. All you have to do is go into, for example, your pictures folder, check out the pictures you have, just right click on that picture, and you'll see that it has an option that says set as desktop background. So let's say I want to change mine for this moon here. Right click, set a desktop background. If I check, now I've got the moon here. So this is a, a eclipse of the moon and basically by the way we'll have one this September now a lot of people ask me where do you get the wallpapers it's very easy you know what you go on the web to your favorite websites maybe you've seen pictures somewhere on a website one of the places I get a lot of wallpapers because I love it is space weather this is a website I go often also because I'm an AM radio operator and what I do is actually I like to, um, you know, take pictures that I see that are very beautiful. So for, say I want to have this one, I'll click on it. And you can actually record, not everywhere, but on most websites, you'll be able to record these pictures on your computer. You can right click on them and you'll have save picture. And it's going to ask you where you want to save it. You just save it in pictures and you say save and that's it. You've got it into the picture folder. So I can now go into my picture folder, say I want to have that picture as my desktop background. You right click on it. If you have a touch device, by the way, you just touch and hold and you click set as the desktop background. And that's where you got it. Now, you notice this one is not full size on my screen. Now, that's where it's very important and useful to know what's the resolution of that picture you want to have because you don't want to have it stretch. Uh, you can tell Windows to stretch this full screen, but usually it doesn't give good results. You know, you'll have uh, people that are very tall or thin or very fat and short because the ratio of the picture isn't right for your screen. So the first thing you need to know is what's your screen resolution? And you'll get a picture that is at least the same resolution. So if I right click here, and I go into display settings, I see that my screen resolution is, let's just say, go here, advanced settings, 1360 by 768. That means a picture that I use will need to have this resolution or better to display right on my screen. So it needs to be bigger than that. One of the places I go the most for wallpapers is Google Image. When you're on a Google page, on the upper right you see Image. You click there on Images and then you just type whatever you like. So for example, I love space, I told you. So I can write, okay, uh, Universe. Let's say what's in Universe. Here we go. Nice, real cool pictures of the universe that I could use. Now, when you stop on one picture, you'll have just below it its resolution. This one is 1920 by 1080. It's bigger than my screen, but it's all right because most of the time it's just going to 
shrink it to fit. What you don't want to, is to have it smaller. So you just check a picture that's at least the resolution you want. And once you've found one, all you have to do is click on it. So let me just check here. I want to have, uh, let's say I want to have this one here on the right. Now this one's a little small, so I'm not going to take it. You got this one that's nice, 1920 by 1080. So you click on it. When you click on it, you'll have a view image. So click here to get it really on your screen. And you see you got this little plus sign. If I click, it's even bigger because it's very, very big. Right click, save picture, and you'll have that picture that you're going to save into the picture folder in my case. Remember the name. You see the names that it gives you? If you don't like it, you can actually change it for anything else. I'm going to call it space wallpaper and just save it. Now I know that I've got in my folder, let's go into pictures, space wallpapers right here. And if I right click, set as desktop background, here's what it looks like. I've got the space wallpaper. You see it's too big because it doesn't shrink necessarily. So try to find as close as possible to your um, you know wallpaper settings. There are some settings that can help you with the wallpapers and um, you know try to make it fit to your display. So you can play with that if you want. But I usually don't. I usually try to find something that's close to my resolution. So I'll go back and um, once again, go to the Google Images. And I'll say I want to take here um, Moon. Let's type Moon. Here's a Moon picture. Let's see if we have better Moon pictures. So these are rather grayish. So this one, 16 by 962, is closer to my resolution. I can try this one can view image, always click there. Once you see it, right click, save picture. It says Moon JPEG, so Moo JPEG. Go back into my picture folder and there I'll check for the Moon picture. Here it is, right click, set as desktop background and here we are, nice Moon picture. So that's how easy it is and that's how I find my beautiful pictures. I go to some websites and they show me a picture of uh, Aurora Borealis or you know whatever I just find so beautiful. I'll right click, download and set it as a wallpaper in this manner. It's as easy as that. So um, one, just one word of caution here, some pictures are not possible to download. So what it means is that some of the pictures you'll choose, you won't be able to download because they got copyrights and people blog them. Some pictures won't be available or uh, when you right click, the save picture will not be enabled because once again, for copyright reasons, they want to keep these pictures. But that's how I get all these beautiful backgrounds in the different videos I did in the past. So you can do the same and you can just search for your, you know, all the pretty pictures that you want. And you know what? Having a new wallpaper is like painting your home. It's like having new furniture. It just like changes your computer as if it's something new. And that's cool. And it really makes your computer more fun if you have something that you like. And of course, be careful to choose a wallpaper that fits well with your background. Some pictures uh, sometimes make the icons difficult to see, so you might want to play a little bit with that. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. Uh, it's always fun to have your feedback. And um, if you want to give us any comments, um, you know, just leave the comments and um, leave any problems you might have. We'll try to uh, help you with that. And hopefully you like our channel and we'll come back. Thank you for watching.